Hello and welcome to Controllers Tech. This is the 8th video in the STM32 Touch GFX series, and today we will send the data back from the UI to the MCU. I am going to use the keyboard on the UI, and send the keyboard data to the MCU. To do so, I will use a structured queue, which we used while sending the data from UART to the UI. So if you want to understand this video better, you must watch video number 5, and video number 7. We will send the data received from the UI to the UART, and we will do this using two different methods. In the first method, we will simply send the data from the model, by calling the whole UART transmit function in the model itself. In the second method, we will create another task, whose only purpose will be to send the data to the UART, and we will use the message queue to send the data to this task. The initial setup is the same for both the processes, so you must watch the full video. I am going to continue the keyboard project, which we created in the previous video. Here I am adding a button to send the data to the MCU. Let's label it as send. Also I am changing its name to button with label send. We will also add an interaction for this button. When the button is clicked, it will call a virtual function, send clicked. The rest of the setup is the same as the previous tutorial about the keyboard, with the same texts, typographies etc. Let's generate the project now. We will open it in the cube ID as usual. Again we will be working with the view file, so open the screen one view source file. These are the functions from the previous tutorial, and this time we have a new interaction, so let's define it first in the header file. This is the function which will be called when the send button is clicked. Let's also define an array of 50 bytes, which we will send to the MCU. I am defining two more arrays, which will be used to store the name and age data. We need to convert the Unicode character data to the regular string format, and these buffers will be used to store that converted data. Let's build the code once. Now when the name button is clicked, the keyboard will show up along with the OK and Exit buttons. At this point we want to hide the Send button. So set the visibility of the Send button to false. The same should happen when the Age button is clicked and the keyboard shows up. Now when the Exit, or the OK button is clicked, the keyboard will hide, and at this point we will show the Send button. Now let's write the code for the send clicked function. Here we will first convert the data from Unicode characters to the regular character format. The character data will be stored in the name buffer. The keyboard data is stored in the text area name buffer, and we will use the same to extract the data in the character format. Here we will simply typecast the integer data to the character format. The process will continue until we hit the zero in the text area buffer. The process will be the same for the age data also. This conversion is needed, because it is very hard to transfer the Unicode data. Now once the data is converted, we will prepare the data to be sent. The final data will be stored in the data buffer we created earlier. To send the data, we will call the function sendData in the presenter, and send the buffer as the parameter. This function is not defined yet, we will define it in a while. After sending the data, we will clear the name buffer, and the age buffer.
Let's define the function in the presenter header file. Now in the source file, we will simply call the same function in the model. We will define the function in the model header file again. And now finally in the model source file, we will send the data to the UART. The whole UART transmit function will send the data from the parameter to the UART. We need to include the main header file along with the string header file. Also define the UART handle as the extern. Put this part under the if condition. Let's typecast this to the unsigned int pointer. We need to include some header files in the view also. Alright the project builds fine now. Let's flash the code to the board. I will use the Hercules serial monitor to display the UART data. Here you can see the data is being received via the UART. The data is in the same format as what we saved in the data buffer. So we were able to transmit the data from the UI to the UART. We used a direct approach here by calling the transmit function directly in the model file. But let's assume you want to use this data in the main file, or send it to the UART via the main file. In either case, we would need to create a structured queue to send this data. Let's open the cube MX to add the queue to our project. Here I am adding one more task, UART task, whose job will be to send the data to the UART. I am keeping the task priority normal. Now let's add a queue with two data size. This is the same thing we did while sending the data from UART to the UI. Let's generate the project. First we will create a structure in the main header file. This would contain an array of 50 characters for the data, and a variable to store the length of the data. Let's define it as UART data t. Now we will edit the queue definition, so that it uses the size of the structure. Next we will define the queue handle as the extern variable in the model source file. Also define the structure which we will pass to the queue. Include the cm sysos header file. Now in the send data function, we will first copy the data into the data element of the structure. Also update the length element of the structure. Before sending the structure to the queue, we will check if there is some space available in the queue. If it is, then OS message queue put function will be used to send the data. Here we will pass the address of the structure to the queue. That's it for the sending part, 
Now we have to receive the data in the main file. Inside the UART task we will receive the data, and then transmit to UART. Here we will check if there is some message available in the queue. If there is, we will read the message using the OS message queue get function. The data will be stored in the UART data R structure, which we will define in a while. Then we will send the data to the UART using the function hol UART transmit. Let's define the UART data structure. Let me typecast it to the unsigned int. Alright flash the code and we will test it now. We are getting the data successfully on the UART. So everything is working as expected. We were able to retrieve the data input by the user on the UI, and we can use that data in our main file. I hope you understood the video. The link to download the code is in the description below. Leave comments in case of any doubt. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.